Dev Chat Round Four. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Mike, the good old developer from 11th Hour Games, held his normal 1pm Q&A livestream on Twitch, which means I get to bring you my new series Dev Chat and this is Dev Chat Round 4. As always I will share my thoughts, please feel free to share yours in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. Alright! Let's jump right into this. The first question that caught my attention was around trading. Now we kind of know that the end game hub is supposed to be this area called the bazaar, and there might be a form of kind of auction house. It's where you'll party up. It's where you'll trade. It is like the end game zone. At least that's how I understand it. So Mike talks about in this 11th hours games thoughts on trading. Yeah, there will be a uh, a trade mechanic, a way that you can uh, get new gear from other players and um, give your uh, gear that you find that maybe you don't want to use or is old to to other players um, for an exchange of some sort of currency of sorts. I'm being very vague here because we don't have all the details worked out for it yet. It's something that we will adjust through our testing and um, it's really not going to be anything like you've seen before, I don't think. It's going to be... Um, we're, we're really trying to... We have a few odd goals that we're trying to achieve with our with our trading system. And um, weirdly enough, one of them is not making it too easy to find the gear you're looking for or too easy to even sell the gear you have. We do want it to be... There, there's I think there's a sweet spot of convenience where it's a uh, it's a fun and engaging thing to do but it doesn't take up a ton of time and it's not instantaneous so you can't just say okay I've hit level 40 I now can use unique item X and I have enough currency Y I just go buy it and get it and I'm good to go which like works really well in several other systems for sure but we're trying to build it a little bit differently from scratch and so uh that 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 sort of interaction is something we're looking to to curb a little bit just so it's not as instantaneous and uh guaranteed i guess so there's still sort of a a bit of an interaction a bit of a like you're 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 interacting with a community and you're actually playing with other players did you guys catch that like nothing you've seen before. I feel like I have seen a lot, which just makes me even more intrigued about what the system they're going to give us. And that is normally what I think about. I've gathered enough currency, I've hit the level, I'm just going to go buy the item. They're saying they want it to be convenient, but not that convenient where you could just go get whatever you want. Very interesting. Question that I get asked literally multiple times a day is when are we getting Falconeer? When are we getting Rune Master? When are we getting Warlock? And normally the developers will not budge. They give us nothing on the last three mastery classes. Now, Mike today slipped for a little bit and didn't tell us when we're going to get it, but he did tell us when we're not going to get it. It was only for a few seconds. Listen to this. Uh, the Warlock itself will not be available in this patch or the next patch. I can tell you that for sure. The next two patches, we are at least not getting the Warlock, which would mean we're likely not getting the Falconeer or the Rune Master. During Mike's live streams, you normally don't see him like light up with excitement, but this question you can tell he really wanted to answer, and then he kind of reeled it in. Somebody asked him, do they plan on implementing puzzles? Listen to this. That's a really interesting thing. Okay, so there's... uh. This is a bit... How far behind am I? Oh, I'm so far behind. I want to answer this question in detail based on like a little anecdote, but it's too much. Un unlikely, uh, but maybe some, some minor ones. It's it's tough because usually they end up just getting... Uh, like the, the solutions get spoiled, or if they're randomly created puzzles, they can sometimes be too tough for people. That sort of stuff. No puzzles in Last Epoch. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've been saying this for a while just based upon Mike's reaction to the same question that happens every single week. 
people keep asking, when are we getting a skill tree for stances? And this is Mike's reaction. Uh, yes. I, uh... I, 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 uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. Bad news. Bad, bad news bears. I'm sorry. Bad news. He literally doesn't even answer the question. Now, it's been rumored that stances are actually getting removed from the game, or maybe we'll be moving over to the passive tree. So that is pretty much confirmation that something with stances is definitely up. This should literally already be in the game. A confirm button. We've talked about having a system in here where like you can um, click, 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 figure out exactly what you're gonna do, and then like a confirm button. Uh, same with same with these 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 nodes. Um, we haven't implemented it yet, but you know we're working on it. Also, a similar thing with respecking, in, especially in the passive tree, when you have to like go like one 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 confirm each time. Having some like some sort of you can respec and like take points in and out, like with left clicking and right clicking, maybe. And then at the end, and there's just like a little counter that's like this respec will cost this much gold, type thing. Um, and you can just confirm. I think that would be a, a better way to do it. We're still working on that for sure as well. I want those quality of life improvements because I'm respecking all the time. It's been rumored for a while that the new form, the third form coming to the Druid is gonna be a werewolf. The developers at 11th Hour Games love Diablo 2. They have a werebear, why not have a werewolf? Well, unfortunately, that has now been squashed. The third form for Druid, which I know a lot of you have seen, there will be a third form if you look on the character select screen at the, at the start when you're making a new character, is not a werewolf form. No werewolf. Um, I'm not saying we'll never have one, but the third form is not werewolf. Uh, I think you will be quite pleased with what the third form is, and in general, yes, other classes are getting new skills. Um, each class will have the same number of skills, all with skill trees when the game launches. Does 11th Hour Games plan on having an offline mode for Last Epoch that would allow modding just like Grim Dawn? We don't have any plans to directly support mods at launch. Um, it's not to say it won't ever happen, but it's uh, scope creep, and we've got to keep scope under control just to get us to launch as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Uh, so for now, there will not be specific mod support from us. Simple question. What happens to all my characters once multiplayer drops? All characters that are being made right now are in what I would call offline mode. They are not multiplayer characters, and you will not be able to play them in multiplayer on our servers when multiplayer goes live. Um, this is mostly due to oh, security reasons and partially due to wanting to have everything be a fresh start when multiplayer goes live. So um, they will not be able to be played online. I'm sorry. One of my questions finally made it through the chat around dueling. Hey Aaron, how's it going? Uh, will you be able to duel friends when multiplayer drops? Ooh, dueling, dueling, I, I really want dueling to happen. Um, right away that's the thing I want the most uh, it's the thing that I've had the most fun with we've like when we've had little tests and things like that and early on having those those PvP moments are tons of fun um, and uh, I know I know I talked about before like random uh, we had like a fireball only scenario a long time ago um, that was so much fun it was like one shot fireballs and that's all there was um, God, that was a long time ago now, actually. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, PvP is one of my favorite things in the games like this, and um, we are we are working on PvP. I would say there's likely... Oh, I don't know if I want to say that. There's There'll be probably conditions under which PvP happens that's a little, uh, a little more static than just, hey, you, fight me. Um, but we're still working out those details, so I don't, I don't really know for sure what it's going to end up being. So maybe some kind of dueling. Mike was kind enough to give us two teases about future content during his stream, and I'm going to show you the first one now, which was a boo-boo. Okay, I'm just going to open my skills panel here one sec. Oh, what's this? Uh... 
Um, yeah, this is a uh, concept art for an updated skills layout. Uh, a little bit more clear, so this... Oh my god. <laughs> Judd just got me really bad, guys. As soon as I put that up, he just messaged me in all caps. No, no, don't show that, don't show that. I can feel the sweat just like built up immediately. <laughs> oh my god. It's the second, Judd? It's the second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's the skills panel we're working on, guys. <laughs> we're working to keep things a little bit more clear. We're doing away with some of the, uh, some of the. Oh, got to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Doing away with some of the extra screens, like when you click to specialize a skill instead of taking it to a new screen, it just highlights the ones you have available here. Um, there's going to be a search bar in this screen that lets you uh, look into skills a little bit more clearly. Um, it also lays them out in how you unlock them a little bit better, so uh, the ones that are unlocked through your passive and the ones that are uh, just from your character levels. Last but not least, the second leak that Mike gave us is a new summoning skill coming to the Primalist. Check this out. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open the tooltip on on my on my new my new ability here, this this thorn totem ability. Wait. What's going on? Oh it is there. Yes. Oh look look at this wonderful thorn totem ability that I have. Uh, there is uh, this little, little tooltip sneak peek for uh, a new ability coming. Someone last stream asked me if there's any new summons coming, and I said I know there's at least two. Uh, well, here's one of them. All right, everyone, that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed Dev Chat Round 4. Shout out to Mike. Thank you for continuing to have your Friday live streams. You are answering so many questions for the community. If you have a question for Mike and you want me to ask him, let me know in the comment section below. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We are now over 800 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. Thank you all for watching this dev chat. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron, out.